I'm Christina. So if you guys are new to the channel, I'm a homeschool mom to four kiddos and I love gardening. And right now we're getting our garden beds all ready. I wanted to share something with you guys that I thought was so cool and I feel so silly that I did not know where loofah sponges come from. I literally thought that they were like sea sponges that grow in the ocean. <laughs> so, you know, so you go to the store, like Whole Foods, and you see the all natural like sponges and I thought that they came from like the ocean and they were really like special. Well, they're special, whatever. I thought they came from the ocean. Well, they actually can be grown in your garden. And this is what it looks like. And if you can see, can you see in there? It's so cool. And so it grows like this. Oh, I'm dropping seeds. And so it grows like this. And when it grows really big, I'm not even sure exactly when you um, pull it off. I think when it turns yellow is what it said. Um, let's see, it'll dry out. And that's what the seeds look like. And you leave it out and you let it dry. And then you peel it off this outer layer. Can you see that? Oh, and wow. Then it will reveal your sponge. And you can use this in the bathtub. You can cut it into little sections and use it on your dishes. And I'm gonna get one of my kids to help. But it's so cool. And you save the seeds and you can replant them. So, okay, let me let Ethan do it. Can you feel it? This is so I know, it's like a bath sponge from your garden. This is gonna take forever, by the way. It's okay.
your hand. It's like peeling a hard boiled egg. Ew, it is. That's a great, it's a great analogy. It's, it really is like pull, peeling a hard boiled egg. That maybe is being very ornery. This is extremely dry. That's good though. Yeah. And this is so cool. And look. Okay. So this is it. Look at me. You get it all peeled. And what you do is you just take a knife, and uh, my friend said you just slice it as big. You know, if you want a body loofah to put in your shower. Or you could just cut it in you could just cut it in little pieces and keep it at your sink and you can keep one for your dishes or for your countertops. And so that's it. So you could grow this in your garden some and see how it goes because I think that this is so cool.